These are new outfits come round quickly, don't they? They certainly do. It doesn't seem a year since we were cut off by the tide at Whitley Bay. Oh, I rather enjoyed the trip in that helicopter. Did you? Hmm. Well, it's not my idea of a day out dangling on the end of a rope ladder. Oh. Especially with a stiff breeze blowing round the headland. <laughs> Nothing like that can happen today. It'll be very quiet. From what I hear, Batsworth Castle is well worth the visit. Mm. Besides, it'll be a nice change mixing with the aristocracy. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the Duke's memoirs in the people, it should be an education. <laughs> That'll be Mr. Hunt honking again. Oh, no, it's the coach driver getting impatient. You know Mr. Swindley ought to be here, but no. Yes, well, we're ready for the up. Look, don't you think we ought to be making for the coach? Mr. Hunt and Mr. Swindley are catches up in the car. Where the devil is he? Twenty minutes past nine and not a sign of him. We can't go with him, without him, Mr. Hunt, because he's got the tickets to Batsworth Castle. It's always the way. All it is is a day out, but he'll be writing a three-page letter to the milkman. Oh, good morning. <laughs> ah, thanks. I do apologise. I'm afraid I'm rather behind the clock. Well, what kept you? Oswald, sir. I know the blazes is Oswald. My budgie. <laughs> he knew that I was going to have a day out, and he threw a tantrum. Tried to ding his bell and fell off his ladder. <laughs> I can't believe it, you know. Look, see, there are your lunch boxes. There's a hard-boiled egg, two cheese rolls, and four of my best rock cakes. Oh, don't, Mrs. Jason. My taste buds won't stand it. <laughs> well, now, come on. Let's hurry up, ladies. Uh, Swindley, come on. Follow me. Batsworth Castle. Here we come. Oh, 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 now, Mrs. Edgeley, what are we going to do first? Uh, oh, they start bingo at 11.30. Isn't it <laughs> lovely? You mustn't miss that. They've got a smashing fun fair, Dodgems, Ghost Train and Big Dipper. Or the pop group in the Rose Garden. Very aristocratic. Next time you do anything right, I'll put the flag up. You and your late stars. Honestly, car, car park's full. I've had to park the car half a mile down the road in the lane. Well, at least we're securely parked, sir. We're off the crown. Yes, in a ditch. Thank you for backing me in, Swindley. Well, I'm very sorry, sir, but my, my attention was temporarily distracted by the mating call of a peewit. Well, he wasn't calling you. Excuse me, Mr. Hunt. We're going to do the grounds first. We'll see you later. Right. Come along, girls. This way. Ah, a guide to Batsworth Castle. What a noble pile, sir. I beg your pardon? <laughs> this is just what we need. Well, at five, Bob. Oh, well worth it, sir. All in a good cause. Ah. I see the Grand Hall is available for dancers, Masonics and wedding receptions. I suppose for an extra tenor, the Duke will act as best man. Well, it doesn't say so. <laughs> Although he will post for photographs at three guineas a time. In coronet and robes, five pounds ten. I'd do it in my underwear for that. Yeah, please. <laughs> this is a sad time for the nobility. A sad time? Cut flowers, ten bob a bunch, ham salad, twelve and six. It's a ducal racket. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Batsworth Castle. The home of the 14th Duke of Batsworth. You are now about to step back into history, full of pageantry, pomp and colour, and very fascinating it is too. The family of Batsworth, the oldest in the land, have lived here ever since 1498, as certain markings on certain oak beams will bear witness, that beam up there being particularly interesting. I think I've found it, sir. You nit. It says Maureen loves Ringo. It bears, it bears, as you will observe, the engraved legend, Maureen loves Ringo. Ringo, of course, being the fourth duke. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you will have noticed a number in the top right-hand corner of your brochures. Now, one of these will later be announced as the lucky number. The only lucky person around here is the Duke. Yeah, please, sir. Prize being a free weekend as guest of the Duke at Batsworth Castle. And now, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, what a wonderful invitation, sir. A chance to share this great heritage. The rolling vista from the breakfast room. The family tenants toiling in the fields. Perhaps even the Duke himself personally passing the marmalade. The only thing he'd be passing is the hat. I can just imagine it. An icy cold bedroom and a 300-yard dash to the what's-it. Now, before we proceed, I have to warn those of you with a nervous disposition that we shall be visiting the East Wing. This is said to be haunted by the late lamented Sir Percy, who came to a slow and audible end in the year 1603. Here it is in the brochure, sir. Tragic case. Stretched on the rack and then thrown into the moat. But well, it's only three feet deep. He's still on the rack, sir. <laughs> they do say that on certain nights, he rises from the murky depths, groaning horribly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you will kindly follow me, we will proceed to the Duke's muniment room. Ah, the Ducal muniments. What a treasure chest of family law. Swindley, yes. let's go off on our own and have a look round. I can't bear his groaning a mo moment longer. Yes, very well, sir. We can use the brochure as a guide. Right. 
Herbert! Yeah? What is it, Mr. Crumbling? Hang on a minute. His Grace is expecting weekend guests. Two gentlemen cousins of Her Grace. More of a lot on the sponge. As per usual. Quite so, uh, but now keep an eye open. They might get mixed up with this other riffraff. Well, how will I know? Well, from what His Grace tells me, one's medium height and a bit overweight. The other one's shorter and they both wear glasses. Well, that's funny. I saw a pair of something like that with this party. What a beautiful old trout. Yes, it's Seventh Duchess. <laughs> Very gracious lady. Somewhat of a social reformer. She instituted the 90-hour week for serfs. Apparently she uh, used to like to go around the villagers on horseback dispensing hot gruel to the tenants. Must have had a remarkable seat. Yes, well, I don't know about her seat, but my feet are killing me. Feels as though we've been trekking around here for hours. Why don't you have a little sit down, sir? That's not a bad idea. Pass me that chair, will you? Oh, do you think we ought to? Uh... Oh, come on, come on. There's nobody about. <coughs> oh, very well. Oh. Good Lord, thank there you. Ah. Stop! <laughs> Swindly! 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 Moment, sir. I found something rather interesting here. You idiot, Swindly. I'm stuck yeah. fast. I can't... Oh, dear. <coughs> Get me out of here. I wonder where I could obtain maximum leverage. Right, right the back. Right. Is something the matter, sir? <clears throat> My friend uh, has had a slight mishap with one of the Batsworth heirlooms. Uh. <laughs> if you will take his right, I will take his left, and the sir can remain in neutral. Yes. Uh, oh. <coughs> now, careful. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Crumblin, sir. Butler to his grace. And now, if you will both kindly follow me, the Duke will be wishing to see you in his apartment. <coughs> This way, gentlemen. Thank you. What's this all about? Well, I expect you're going to have to pay for it. If anybody's paying for it, it's when you are. <coughs> Leave the <this> situation. <coughs> Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Crumbling, uh, with reference to the chair, do you think that uh, the Duke would consider easy terms? Leave it to me, sir. You may consider the incident closed. Uh, now, if you will kindly take tea, gentlemen, I will inform His Grace of your arrival. Well, that's very kind. Thank you. All this for a three and sixpenny entrance fee. <laughs> Tea with the Duke, cucumber sandwiches. There's a catch in it somewhere. I know what it is. What? It must be the lucky number on the brochure. Ah! You've won. Relax, <laughs> Mr. Hunt. We can prepare ourselves for a little gracious living. Good. A cucumber sandwich, sir. I don't mind. Thank you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Shut up, Crumbling. I say, we are having a blasted good day. <laughs> it's very, very gratifying, Your Grace. Uh, hordes of them trampling all over the place, blasted scruff. Still, it's all money. As you say, Your Grace. Oh, by the way, Your Grace, the persons have arrived. Persons? What persons? The ones you was expecting, the two distant relations of Her Grace, Your Grace. Oh, by George, I've forgotten all about them. Where have you shoved them? They're taking tea in the drawing room, Your Grace. Ah, oh, stuffing themselves with my cucumber sandwiches, I'll be bound. Yeah. Yeah, well, what are they like? Can we charge them? Uh, not for me to say, Your Grace. Yeah, well, I remember the last lot came for the day's stop for the fishing season. They didn't catch anything, Your Grace. Oh, you didn't be tactful with me. Uh, it's my own damn fault for marrying out of my class. Not an ounce of breeding among them. Shall we get it over, Your yeah, Grace? I suppose so, yes. Well, I suppose we might as well finish them, sir. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, very nice. 
His oh. Grace, the Duke of Batsworth. <laughs> I thought so. Oh. Not a cucumber sandwich in sight. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the blasted thing. Delicious, sir. Absolutely delicious. And beautifully cut, if I may say so. Running through the form crumbs, then. Not saying the whole summer, are you? Are you? Uh, the whole summer? Oh, dear me, no, no, no. No, we wouldn't wish to impose. No, uh, do damn right you won't. Uh, brought any staff with her? Yes. Forty-three, to be exact. <laughs> well, we're all stopping here. Stopping? Oh, no, 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 no. Quite out of the question. Mr. Hunt and I are most flattered that you have asked us. So you blasted should be. Go on, Crumlin, let's go over the accounts. Where's me adding machine? Ah, I'll show Bath and Bedford how to fiddle this lark. I'm not stopping here. He's a complete nutter. He must be off his coronet. Oh, trifling centric, perhaps. Charming in his own ducal way. Yeah. Uh, blasted contraption. Can't make a tale of it. Look here. We can't have made 634 pounds, 18 and fourpence on the boating lake. Oh, the figures are correct, Your Grace. It's the tunnel of love that does it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> yes, I've been in there. Jolly good value. Yeah, too good for scruff. Shove the price up. Oh, by the way, Your Grace, we are 50 pound down on lost property. How is that? I do feel your grace should wait for the visitors to leave the castle before flogging their belongings. Why, did anyone complain? The two of the visitors saw their hats and coats on sale in the village. <coughs> if, uh, if I might add a thought, your grace. Well? Have you ever considered issuing trading stamps? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what a good idea, trading stamps. Yeah, crumbling, you might order a job lot of those double cross ones in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Good>. <coughs> Meantime, sir... May I say how delighted we are to be your guests? Oh, you're staying, aren't you? Yes. Crumlin, the turret room in the east wing. Shove them in there. The turret room? That has a medieval ring. The uh, e east wing, your grace. Yes, the east wing, Crumlin. We don't want our friends to forget their stay at Batsworth, do we, Crumlin? <laughs> Meantime, I'll have a word with you outside. Oh, this will be a memory to treasure, sir. What, a list milled you dump? Oh, but just think, sir. Dinner with his grace in the ancestral hall. After dinner, a stroll round the stately mansion, arm in arm with history, cheek by jowl with antiquity. Who are you talking about, the Duke or Crumbly? Here, please, sir. <laughs> on soir, qui mal pense. Remember, we are the honoured guests of one of the noblest families in the land. Well, get on with the blasted thing and don't screw it up this time. You're in our next move. Master Reginald, your grace. Yes, exactly. I'm not having those two staying more than one night. Well, I'm off to the trophy room. Go and spot a dry rot in me antlers. <laughs> Get me hammering green nine. Hello? Is that the hangman's arms? This is the castle speaking. We would like a word with Mr. Reginald, and we hope he's sober. <laughs> ah, Master Reginald. Now, your uncle has another little job for you. Yes. No, Master Reginald, nothing on account, just the usual 20 nicker when the job's done. <laughs> yes, now listen. Two more of Her Grace's relations have arrived. Uh, that's right. Uh, the full treatment. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've had a marvellous day. I'm five and a tanner in hand. I knew if I sat there long enough, I should get a line-up. Where did you win that lovely teddy? On the rifle range? You didn't. You have never held a rifle in your life. I know. After seven shots, the man weaved a white flag and he gave me this to go away. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Hunter, and Mr. Swindley have enjoyed themselves. Where are they, I wonder? I've just seen Mr. Swindley. You're not going to believe this. He is beside himself with delight. Why? Well, he and Mr. Hunter are going to spend the night here, if you please. They have the lucky number on the brochure. They're going to sleep in the East Wing. Oh, that's not lucky. It's haunted. Haunted? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't sleep in there for all the tea in China. Hey, well, there's a storm coming up. I think we'd best be on our way. Hey, look at the black clouds over the turret. You know what they say. It's on nights like this that that ghost of Sir Percy rides again. Oh, come on. <laughs>
storm brewing, sir. Yeah, that's all I needed. This place gives me the creeps as it is. Do you realize we're the only two in the East Wing? Oh, just the luck of the draw, sir. But what a magnificent meal. That souffle had a touch of genius. And the burgundy, what character. After the second glass, it became quite cheeky. You mean you did? <laughs> Waving your napkin at the Duke as if you were a tic-tac man? Well, I was only trying to make contact, sir. The table was so long, I could hardly see him at the other end. <laughs> when he needn't have bothered, he fell asleep after the soup. There was a dash of sherry in that, you know. A dash? <laughs> that butler emptied another half bottle into his. A duke's privilege, sir. No bless oblige. By the way, have you got a spare coat hanger? No, I haven't. You better ring for Crackling or whatever his name is. Crumbling, sir. Crumbling, yeah. Crumbling. And I could do with a nightcap, too. <laughs> you rang, sir? <laughs> <coughs> yes, Crumbling, I'm looking for a hanger. <laughs> a coat hanger, sir? Is there another kind? <laughs> yes, well, never mind. I thought you might be needing a nightcap. Sir. Thank you very much. Leave the bill on the tray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I trust that will be all, gentlemen. I'm sure His Grace will look forward to seeing you both in the morning. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> I'm going to have a quick snort. You want one? No, no, thank you. What? He has left the bill on the tray. What? And a 10% service charge as well. Doesn't miss a trick, does he? Oh, no, look at this. Stolen from Batsworth Castle. I bet he even charges for a bath. Oh, I should hardly think so, sir. Ah. Right. <laughs> well, this will keep the draft out. Mr. Hunt. Ah, yes? Have you by any chance got a copper coin? Don't tell me he charges for the... Yes, I'm afraid he does. <laughs> Thank God. Swindy? Swindy? <laughs> ah, there you are, Swindy. I oh, wish you'd stop creeping up. Swindy! Swindy! What? Are you all right, sir? Oh, my God. The... <laughs> ah, the deep peace of a night in the country. <laughs> Is that you, Swindy? Uh, not an owl, sir. <laughs> I heard a bat. Who oh, was only the leaves rustling in the eaves? You know, I'm beginning to think this place is haunted. The way I'm feeling, Sir Percy could be knocking at that door right now. Oh, no, 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 don't worry about that, sir. That's only an old family superstition. I'm just going to brush my teeth. I'll look in again to say good night. Right. Mr. Hunt, have you by any chance got any cute face? No. Mr. Hunt? Mr. Hunt? <laughs> What's the matter, sir? You look as if you've seen an apparition. I did. I did. Standing there in that doorway. Now, now I warned you to go easy on the port and Stilton. No, no. It was just Sir Percy. I know what you want, sir. I'll go back to the bathroom and get you a dose of the ducal fruit salt. Oh, no, no. Smithy, don't leave me alone. Please. You must get a grip on yourself, sir. The flatulence will soon pass. Uh. Oh. Ah! Here we are, sir. Uh, Mr. Hunt? Mr. Hunt? Oh. 
Are you all right? Oh, there you are. Now, Spindley, he was back. I saw it again, Spindley. Well, this time yes. it's grown. Well, indigestion can be very uncomfortable, no. sir. I told you the three helpings of goose and stuffing was too much. Uh, Mr. Hart? Yes. You noticed that rather interesting picture? I don't want to look. What's it doing? For a moment, I could have sworn that its eyes were following me. Ah! No, no, no. Oh, Swinley, look. I'm shivering to death. See if there's a blanket in there, will you? Oh, oh. Oh. Are you in great discomfort, sir? Take a seat. Now, settle down, sir. Don't tell me you didn't see it. Oh, that does it. That does it, Swindy. Come on. Go and get the car. Go and what? Go and get the car. The car's I, half a mile down, down the lane. Care. I'm not storm raging. I'm... I don't care. I'm not stopping here. Oh, well. Oh. Since you're so overall, perhaps it will be best. We're obviously not going to get any sleep tonight. No. Go on. Off you go. Oh. And so that I know it's you. Listen. When you come back, knock four times on the door. Oh, very well. Oh. 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 Ah! <laughs> uh, young nephew of mine's giving a blasted good show tonight. <laughs> yeah, these two won't forget their stay in Batsworth in a hurry. I told him you wanted the full treatment. Uh, that'll teach her blasted grace to invite her relatives to stay for the summer. <laughs> if Master Reginald's on form, I doubt if they'll stay another ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, Swindley? Yes, open up. <laughs> I've just heard something very, very interesting. Yes? We're the victims of a practical joke. A joke? Yes. We've been mistaken for two unwelcome relatives. The Duke's trying to get rid of us. We're on a stupid, stupid damn trick. Might have frightened me to death. Precisely. And that apparition you saw was the Duke's nephew, Reginald, masquerading as Sir Percy. If I'm not mistaken, here he comes again. Yes? Ah, oh, it's Master Reginald, your grace. Uh, where are you speaking from? Oh, of course, the Angman's Hound. But you, you can't be. You're, you're here in the castle. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, they knew. <laughs> Master Reginald got a bit plastered, Your Grace. Says he can't make it for the job tonight. So, that's... If you'll accept my notice, I think I'll go and pack a few things. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yes. Very clever. Very realistic. Go on, rattle your chains a bit. <laughs> the only thing is, Reginald, you're not fooling us for a moment. <laughs> well, you've got to hand it to Reginald, you know, he's, he's a very good illusionist. <laughs> Almost up to professional standards. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crumbling. Yeah. Right, the game's up. We know who this is. This is Reginald. Trying to put the wind up by a colleague, Mr. Hunt. <laughs> I, I've got news for you, sir. That's not Mr. Reginald. What? Mr. Reginald couldn't come. Ah, <laughs> don't get it. Oh, yes. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> yes, and Reginald, it's about time you went as well. Come yeah. on. <laughs> the dear old Percy. There's one Batsworth to another jolly good show. <laughs> Look, if you could manage to do matinees, we might get to the top of the blasted league. Huh? Oh, well. These blasted unions.